what's up? Now that we have the polarized light reader, we can begin. Wow. What is this? Just a moment. We need to analyze this conduction ring first. Reversing the flow. Nexus. A ritual. So that's what he's up to. Hilda, the chests inside the Laurel Craft Treasury have all been ransacked, right? On my honor. Good. I believe you. Unfortunately, I now know what Humanities is doing. You may already be aware of this, but on that towering peak behind the city, there is a light that shines unceasingly. That's the Nexus, Aethys' biggest and purest starite. Bestowed upon us, we believe, by the Three. Our civilization developed around the Nexus, and achieved glory by the use of magic. However, even thousands of years of research haven't enabled us to fully Humanities is trying to master the Nexus in order to gain its limitless power. Could the device from this design allow him to control the Nexus? Yes. Humanities instructed the North Wind Legion to gather the materials necessary to make conduction rings and then install them in each conduit. The conduits were originally intended to distribute the power of the Nexus. However, conduction rings alter the direction of the energy flow. Concentrating all of the energy of the conduit in the hands of the user. That energy could then be used to control the Nexus. Wouldn't that be problematic? Trying to control the Nexus with excessive and unrefined force could make it unstable. If the energy isn't controlled properly, it could trigger another apocalyptic magic storm. And if he can control it properly? This is just speculation. But he could gain mastery of all Choose to remove our curse. Lead us in another direction. And then, even if you wear an amulet, neither you nor the North Wind Legion will be able to escape his grasp. Everyone will become a puppet in his hands. He alone will decide the fate of every one of us. No, I won't allow that to happen. Neither will I. We must do everything we can. You must stop your father from completing his mission and put an end to humanity's plan. You must stop him. Let me know when you're ready and we will continue our work. I'm ready. What are you planning to do? Hilda, you've proved yourself to me. I've seen your ability and your determination. And I have seen your destiny. From now on, I hope things will be more equal between us. What do you mean? I mean, we share the same goal. From now on, I'll do everything I can to help you. And I'll tell you all about my objectives and plans. Understand? That's surprising. What made you change your mind? Because you're... No, never mind. I just think things will be better this way. Don't you agree? Of course. And I'll repay your trust. It's the Northwind Legion's way. I'm happy we can be friends. Friends? That's not really what I had in mind. Oh, did I misunderstand? No, you're right. It's as you say. So, I finished deciphering the documents Marissa brought back. This is the biggest breakthrough we've had so far. I'm confident that we can deal with the crisis in Aphis. However, that will only make the next thing we need to do even more challenging. I'm really going to need your help. You can count on me. So, what's your plan? To tell you that, I need to first tell you about Asteragos. A thousand years ago in Aphis, Humanities and I came up with a plan that would lead all Ephesians into a bright new era. 
Inside the city, we constructed a system of conduits and gave every resident, regardless of their class, a resonator. Resonators, just like your necklace, generate a resonance with a conduit, allowing the user to enjoy the benefits that magic brings. But something went wrong. More and more people suffered magical mutations as a result of the resonators. Humanities frantically tried to find the cause of the problem and solve it, but to no avail. Nothing he tried could stop the spread of the magical mutations, until he came across an ancient legend. According to this legend, anything could be achieved by performing a ritual called Aspiration on Trinity Night. Disregarding widespread opposition, he went ahead and performed the ceremony, wishing to remove the magical mutations by manipulating the power of the Nexus. But the ritual ended in failure. It was that night that Asteragos descended upon Aphis. No wonder you say he's the culprit. And no wonder you react so strongly whenever I mention him. So now you know. Anyway, to get back to the point, my plan is to perform the aspiration again. But this time, do it correctly. Again? Didn't you say the power of the Nexus can't be controlled? I understand you have doubts. So feel free to ask me anything. What was in the documents that Marissa brought back? It was research proving that a similar ritual had been successfully performed several millennia ago. In addition to it needing to be performed on Trinity Night, the ritual requires three ancient relics in order to keep it stable. Relics are the key. So a thousand years ago, Eumenides failed because he didn't have the relics. Exactly. And now he's disregarding the research and planning to do things his way. We can't allow him to repeat the same mistake. And let's not forget, even if he's successful, it'll only make him even more of a threat. Yes, that's true. Tanrius' research also points out that the Nexus was damaged because of humanity's last failure. Unless we can find a way to repair its structural matrix, performing the ritual again will be extremely dangerous. So, we need to collect the three relics, find a way to repair the Nexus, and persuade Eumenides to let us use it. I get the feeling he's not an easy person to persuade. There are many ways to persuade someone. We just need to find the right one. But I don't understand. Why does Eumenides want to work with my father? Because he no longer has any other allies in the city. Right now we lack cohesion. It is difficult for us to unite. But with his abilities, it wouldn't be difficult for him to do it alone, would it? It's true that Eumenides can use his apparition to shuttle back and forth, but the apparition can't touch solid matter. With his help, the Northwind Legion are highly maneuverable and are inherently very skilled warriors. Moreover, they're the only ones who don't know who Eumenides is. He's unlikely to let go of the Northwind Legion before the ritual is complete. Awful the way he's using them. Knowing my father, he'd never return empty handed if he found a way to save the king. I'm positive Eumenides won't share with him the details of the ritual or its outcome. If we see your father, we must make him see Eumenides for who he really is.
What should I do now? I think I know where the relics mentioned in the documents are. Aphis is governed by three archons, each of whom inherited an ancient relic, a symbol of their status. The real function of these relics has been forgotten through the ages. Now they're merely regarded as symbolic. Fortunately, I know where to find these archons. Or at least I have a clue to their whereabouts. That sounds promising. The trouble is, even if I can find them, I don't know if I'll be able to communicate with them. Well, I've got my work cut out for me. Time to put my talents to good use. There's also Tanrius and his wife, who went missing in the mine while searching for a way to repair the Nexus. Four objectives this time. Understood? Let's get started. My guess is that it's Serene, and at least her gods. We need to find a way to use this information and take back the Archon Relic. I don't know if she's still alive, but the whereabouts of both her and the Relic are worth our attention. Perhaps it is my own selfishness, but regardless, indulge me. Argus Plaza. Don't be too surprised. To obtain the Archon of Legion's Relic, you must challenge the Archon's elite warriors with me. Yes, this we will do together. Among the Aristoi, the reputation of Marble, the Archon of Legion, has hit rock bottom, and word of you defeating Eulalia has spread. I happened to get in touch with him and asked him to loan me the Archon Relic in his possession. Marble agreed, but on two conditions. To clear my name, I must participate in the challenges of the traditional trials of remission, and you and I must meet with him at the Laurel Mansion, my old home. This is our only chance, so we must seize it. There is a path behind the Laurel Craft that leads to the Argus Plaza. It leads directly to the mansion, but you'll have to go in by a small road on the right side of the main entrance. An Aristoi named Nargis will meet you there. After Eumenides imprisoned Petrius, the Archon of Clergy, in Styx, 
All the information that remained of him was but a few rumors. The only useful bit I can provide is this. His Archon Relic wasn't confiscated when he was jailed, so you should focus your investigation on Styx. Petrius has always been the most cunning and dangerous character in Aphis. I don't know if he's willing to negotiate, or even if he's still in prison. This operation is not one I can aid you in directly. I must rely on you to gather what information you can without me. Ah, oh, yes. And as for the Northwind Legion member you mentioned, Otto, please refrain from revealing any of the adherents' plans to him before I can see him myself. I'm sure you understand. understand Marissa's worries, but I have other matters on my mind. They wouldn't make such a plan recklessly. They must have discovered some key to repairing the Nexus. Hilda, go and find them or any new clues they may have left behind. The adherents need any potential help they can get.
look forward to your next visit, friend. Hey, sweetie, what's up? Thank you. of a large creature. Scorch marks.
voice is that? Up ahead, Humanities. Who's he talking to? The situation is grave. Serene must meet with me. Did you stress the importance? It's not for me or the sages to decide. Did I not make that clear? Andreas has confined her inside with him. As he opens the door, we have no contact with them. Preposterous. He is but a guard. How can he dictate how Serene acts? That presumptuous fool. He forgets his place. But the Saintess wouldn't want to see you anyway. You must make Andreas open the gate. It is utterly absurd that I cannot contact her because of him. I am on the brink of success. She must help me. She must witness this. I told you that I wouldn't be so merciful the next time we met. I assumed you would have heeded my warning. What will it take to make you stop? Until you release your control over the Northwind Legion, there's nothing to say. But now that I've run into you, I do have a question. And what might that be? Why won't you work with Minerva? If we're all working for the good of the city, then there's no need to fight. Is there really no chance? <laughs> chance. A chance to sit down and talk. What else? I assume you don't know about my relationship with Minerva. As long as she stays at the shelter, I have no intention of harming her. But she insists on interfering with me. I have known her far longer than you. I know what she wants. But our ideals are very different. Tired of wasting my time trying to persuade her. Yet you have the patience to persuade other people. That's right. Perhaps that's the trouble with growing too close to someone. <sighs> what I saw in the Nexus is beyond your comprehension. Once the Trinity Night passes, Minerva will understand. And if she doesn't agree? <laughs> I understand now. You really are a terror. I am used to criticism from others. Your words have no effect on me. I do not expect you to understand me, or Harold either, but I have never needed the understanding of others. Farewell, child. For your father's sake, I will not tell him how you died here. You know he's my father? Our friendship is far deeper than you think, and your existence makes him more docile. Damn you! <laughs> Don't run, you coward! ran off just like that who are you i'm here for archon serene <sighs> why is everyone looking for the archon i swear you people are going to drive me insane <sighs> give me a break already now who sent you what do you want with our archon 
All I can say is that I'm here to negotiate and provide help. I can only speak with the Archon about the rest. Well, that's suspicious. But for getting Eumenides off my back, I'll let you in on something. First of all, you might have heard that Centurion Andreas himself is standing guard inside the temple, with the entrance completely sealed. Besides Andreas, four Decurions also hold keys. Other than me, one's gone mad and disappeared. One's deserted, and the other one's... <laughs> not as easy to talk to as me. So, do you still want to see the Archon? I need the key. Honestly? Uh, I thought you'd give up. My part is hidden in the Pont Academy building. Go get it. That's it? No terms? It's not like you'll get the keys from the other Decurians anyway. This way, at least you'll stop bothering me. I can't remember exactly where I put it, though. I haven't needed it in a long time. <laughs> 